Stafford outside. Covered by LeBron. Crawford against Hickson. They double him with LeBron. Six to shoot. Here's Hunter. It's in! Guys, what a game. Eight lead changes here. Yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is M. Govier bringing out another episode of my LeBron James Create a Legend, otherwise known as We Are All Witnesses. And today we're looking to fin finally finish off these pesky Atlanta Hawks. I mean, y'all just witnessed the intro of this video. That was uh, the ending to Game 5, and we really could have just finished off the series and sent them home crying. But they were able to hit a buzzer beater, a miraculous buzzer beater from Hunter that kept this series alive. They really do not want to go down without a fight. As y'all more than likely remember from game four, they were able to take the game to double overtime and somehow claw out a victory. And so we're just trying to end this series. I'm kind of getting tired of this. You know, LeBron, he doesn't want to take this. He won a championship with Miami in real life. Congrats to him. But we're trying to win one in Cleveland. We're trying to win one in Cleveland with LeBron on the team. So, you know, getting this game started off, we're just trying to, trying to get on the, the most positive foot possible, starting off in the first quarter, getting everyone involved, hitting all of our free throws. And one thing that I did this game that I was really proud of, apart from consistently hitting my jumpers, was that I, hold on, I'm going to interrupt myself, because did y'all see that heart right there from LeBron James diving on the floor? Did y'all see that? Look at this heart. He dives on the floor, gives it up to Mo Williams, but something that I was really proud of myself for doing was I cut back on my turnovers, because y'all probably remember... In my other games, I was ah, I just had way too many turnovers, like seven or eight turnovers a game. But I really cut back on these turnovers in this game, and I think that might have been the difference. And um, that was that was a pretty big deal to me because that's part of the reason that we were not able to win the other games: turnovers and lack of consistently hitting post-up mid-range jumpers. So trying to improve on that this game, and already moving on to the second quarter, we were just doing work up by eight points. They're not really looking like they have a chance in this game. Giving the ball to Verzhao, he's hitting the layup. And, you know, we didn't really play that much of the second quarter because LeBron needed a rest a little bit. But we came in this thing, and we're already getting assists. I mean, are y'all seeing this? Look at this. We're up by 10. Verzhao's dribbling the ball at the floor. He gives it off to LeBron, and we're going to take the quick pull-up jumper that we were not hitting earlier in the series. So huge plays right here from Cleveland. And getting the easy layup starting off the second half or the third quarter, whatever y'all want to call it. Trying to get the inbound steal, trying to cheese a little bit. Oh my goodness! Jamal Crawford! Possibly the most clutch player from the Hawks. And look at me and Verzhal. Let's go, baby! Woo! Y'all saw that dunk. I know y'all saw that dunk. And Verzhal's hugging me, rightfully so, because look at that. Put that man on a poster. Oh my goodness, we are pumped after that. Jesus. Let's look at it one more time. Let's look at it one more time. Bitch! Look at how pumped we are. Just nasty. Just nasty. A symbolic moment if we were able to win the title this year for Cleveland. Right there. And also, of course we're able to convert from the line. Let's go! That's the difference between a championship and a contender. 
dribbling the ball up the court. They went into that full court press. You already know we're going to dunk it on them because we're going to make them pay for their mistakes in the third quarter, putting the game to rest, and we're going to make our free throw. So with three minutes left to go in the third, they cut the lead down to only five. Kind of getting a little shaky over here because if they cut that lead down to a one possession game, who knows what can happen because we've all seen what can happen when they cut it down to single possession. But look at that vision from LeBron, giving it up to Rajah Bell. He's able to get the three-pointer to fall, giving us the seven-point lead yet again. And they were able to come back and score, but we were able to come right back and score as well, making it another big lead. And as soon as they cut it down to a single possession game, we dunk on Josh Smith. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me, people? And LeBron James converts from the free throw line, making it a five-point game yet again. And we're not going to let this only be a five-point game. We're going to get the steal. We're going to dribble out the clock a little bit. We're going to take our time like a veteran should. And look at this shot. Splash. At the end of the quarter, to take it, us, us into the fourth quarter, LeBron James has 48 points. And their lead man only has 19, Jamal Crawford. So going on into the fourth quarter, they were in a full court press again, and we're just getting layup after layup. I mean, what are they doing? And there was a moment later on in this game that y'all will see that was just an amazing, legendary, historic moment. I'm not even going to talk over it. I'm probably just going to let y'all watch the rest of the video when that moment comes. And then I'll, I'll chime in at the end, but just stay tuned because you don't want to miss out on this amazing shot that LeBron hit. It was almost Jordan-esque. It was like what Jordan did to the Lakers when he had that he was going for the dunk, then he switched hands and uh, made that layup. I think it was his left or his right hand, but I don't know. But look at Mo Williams getting pumped, hitting the three-pointer. He's saluting the three-pointer right there after he hits that shot from LeBron. Look at that pass, and look at look at the emotion from Mo Mo. He knows we're moving on to the next round. Just nasty. So with three minutes left to go, we're only up by three points. They've seriously cut this lead down. And look at that pass to JJ. You already know he's going to finish that. We're up by five at this point, and we pretty much only need a few more buckets to really close out the game. And look at that double clutch shot from LeBron. But you know what? I'm just going to quit talking and let y'all watch this play. So we were finally able to close out the Hawks in game six, away from home, a huge performance from LeBron. You'll see his stats in a minute, but how about that shot? That was honestly, I was so pumped when I hit that shot. That honestly reminded me of Jordan's shot that he hit. I think it was against the Lakers when he switched hands. You'll see LeBron's stats in a minute, and you'll also see who we will be playing in the next round of the playoffs in round two. So there are those stats, 67, 11 rebounds, eight assists, and four steals. But anyways, y'all, we are playing the Heat in the next round. The number one seed played the number five seed. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Stay lavish and deuces, y'all. I'm out of here.